This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to merge subtools together and keep UVs? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. And the question is asking about taking separate subtools that contain UV coordinates and merging them together, but keeping the UVs. So the process to do this is fairly simple, but it can be a little bit confusing. So to do this, you first want to make sure you have subtools that have UV coordinates. So as an example here, I have a cap, a rivet, and a flathead screw. So if I have one of these subtools selected and I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the tool palette and then open up the texture map area here, you can see that each of these subtools has a corresponding set of UV coordinates and a texture map applied to them. So this is the cap here, and if I press down on my keyboard, I'll switch to the next subtool in the list, which is the rivet. You can see this is the texture map for that one. And then if I press down one more time, it's going to switch to that flathead screw subtool. And you can see this is the texture map for that subtool. So all three of these subtools contain UV coordinates and have a texture map linked to them. So let's say I have these three files here and I want to merge them together to create one single subtool, but I want to retain their existing UV coordinates. So to do this, you're just going to go to the subtool palette here and you go down to the merge area and open this up. And in here you have three buttons that will determine how you can merge subtools together. So you can merge down, merge similar, or merge visible. Now next to these three buttons, you have two little switches here. And one of these switches is UV. So if you toggle this switch on, when you perform any of these merge actions, it's going to look and see if the mesh has UV coordinates, and it's going to retain those UV coordinates when the meshes are merged together. So if you have this UV option active, and now you perform a merge down or a merge visible, it's going to retain those UV coordinates with the merge process. So as an example of this, I'm just going to take these three subtools here, and I want to perform a merge visible to create a new tool that consists of all three of those subtools. So I want to make sure I have this UV switch active, and then I'm just going to simply click merge visible. Now after this processes, if you go back up to the top of your tool palette here, you should have a new tool created. So I have one called merge cap. If I select that tool here, you should now see the result of the merge. So I should have one single subtool that consists of those three subtools merged together. Now, when this process is completed, you'll notice that it does not have any texture maps assigned to it. So it has merged the models. It should have retained the UVs. So if I scroll down the tool menu here and open up the UV map tab, you can see that the delete UV button is active. So this mesh has UV coordinates. I go to the texture map tab here and just assign a quick texture map checker. So I can click this here and pick the texture 19. And you can see with that applied, the UV coordinates have been transferred from that merge process. So these meshes now have their UV coordinates retained and they are in one single tool. You can also check your UVs by going to the create menu here and you can do new from UV check and that will show you the UV coordinates. It's all the UV islands that the mesh is broken into. So the process again for merging subtools together and retaining the UVs is first select a subtool that you want to perform a merge with, navigate to the subtool area, then to the merge area here, and make sure this UV switch is turned on. And then if you perform a merge visible, a merge down, or a merge similar, if the subtools have UV coordinates, those coordinates will be held after the merge process and then you'll end up with a merged mesh that has UV coordinates. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!